are going. A life of faith is what we can't do without as believers. The three says, through faith, through faith we understand that the world was framed and by the word of God, so that things which were seen were not made of things which were which, which do appear. Look at verse four. The one, this one I want to pick also to pick out pick out in this time as we as we, as we continue. Verse four say the first letter, the first word, the, the first three words there says what? Verse four. Are we there? Yes. Verse four says. By faith, Abel offered unto God. No, no, no. I want us to pick the first three, the, the first three word. By faith, Abel. By verse five says. Verse seven says. Verse eight. Verse nine. Now you see that all these people that was that it was recorded that they, they were men of great exploits. Men of great, 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 great things. Women of faith were, were people who moved by faith, who acted by faith. That's so that there is nothing that we will do on earth. If we must be what God has destined us to be, we must put on the garment of faith. Our life must be seasoned with faith. If we can, if we must overcome the challenges of life, if we must overcome, become people who can be reckoned in eternity and in time to come. We must be men of faith. If we, be, if, if we, if, if, if we will be pointed to at, at the end of our journey, this man really walk with God. This man really walk with God till the end of his life. We must be a people of faith. Without faith, it's impossible for us to please God. Like, like, like that, that's what the scripture says in, in I think it was eight. It said by faith Abraham when he was when he was called to on to, uh, sorry. I'm trying to look for that for that particular verse. He said, he said, without without faith, it is in sorry, verse six. He said, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is the rewarder of them that did what diligently seek him. He takes faith to seek God diligently. Without faith, there's no way we can seek God diligently. Diligence means that we are, we are, we are you, you keep at it. You keep doing it and doing it over and over. Keep doing that which is right over and over. And it takes faith to be able to, for, for a man to consistently doing what he was doing to that I think that is right. There were challenges, there were challenges in the days of Noah, but Noah stood by faith, stand with faith, and also prepare an ark. They were mocking him. There were challenges here, there were discouragements here and there, but by faith he stood. The same thing was in the case of Abraham. Abraham at, the, at that old age, even when God, God told him that I, I'm going to give you a son, and he shall be the one to he shall be the one to inherit whatever that, 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 that belongs to you. He took Abraham 25 years before Isaac came. It was the garment of faith that Abraham was putting on the garment of faith for a good 25 years. Believing and trusting God that one day this, this son Isaac will come. That is the kind of attitude that we are supposed to be put on as believers that no matter what comes our way, no matter the challenge, we are putting on the garment of faith. The, 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 the story of faith and the, and the attribute of faith is not, is not only common with the men, it was it's also common with the women. Sarah was a woman that at that, at that age, Though at the beginning she thought that uh, it may not be possible, but the, we see that an act of faith in her, trusting God, and at the end of faith, she also do what conceived. Verse 11 says, through, through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive. At the age of 99, it takes faith for her to even to conceive at that time. Let's quickly go to Philippians, Philippians chapter chapter 4 and in verse 13 our kids verse for this morning i was just trying to do that make that background knowledge for us to see what faith really means beyond our math convention beyond about what we say beyond, beyond what people say about us well beyond what we have heard in the scripture what did faith really means was what i was trying to stress out now look at verse 13 he said i can do all things through christ who strengthened me I can do all things. Apostle Paul was confident in Christ. 
Apostle Paul was confident in what he was doing that by no matter what, whatever happened, I can do all things to Christ. You can say confident, putting your confidence in God <clears throat> is an act of faith. See, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. In John chapter John chapter 15, verse 1, verse, John chapter 15, verse 5 says, I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth fruit. For without me you can do what? You can do nothing. Apostle Paul was already in abiding in Christ. If we must confess with our lips that we can do all things through Christ, we must, we must abide in Christ. Because without him, we can do nothing. Say, he that abide in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth fruits. No matter how, 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 no matter the famine in the community, no matter how the hardship in is in the community, no matter how the weather is, no matter how difficult the weather is, when a man of faith that is abiding <coughs> in Christ will always bring forth fruits at the right time. If you can remember the story of Isaac, and the Lord was speaking to Isaac, I said, Isaac, remain in that land. Don't move. And, and the scripture testified of him at, at the end of it that Isaac sowed in that same land in the season when there were famine in the land. Isaac sowed in that land and reaped hundred foes. That means that we must stand with faith. We must live with faith. We must move with faith. There are challenges around us that we may see. Even the weather alone in, in, in Kari is challenging. Even, even the environment alone looks challenging. But we must overcome all this by faith. And I pray that the Lord will strengthen our faith. Amen. That in all we do, our faith will not fail. Our faith will not fall. He say, for without me, ye can do nothing. If we are confessing that with Christ, with God, we, we, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me, that means that first of all, we must abide in Christ. You can't do all things through Christ when you are staying outside him. We must abide. That is the bottom line. If we must overcome by faith, then we must abide and confess and stay with Christ. That is where the secret is. Abiding is what that makes us fruitful. Abiding is what that makes us successful. Abiding in Christ is what that makes us to become what God wants us to do. If we must record success from this program at this time, we must put on the garment of faith and also abiding. If 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 you are, if you are left alone to mad confession, you are just confessing with a mouth, I can do all things to Christ, and we are not abiding with him daily, day after day. We end up not we end up not seeing the fruits of what we are confessing because it's only those that abide in Him that abide in the vine that can bring forth fruit, and all this is tied to faith. No matter the challenge we may see, no matter the situation we may see, no matter the hardship we may see, we must still stand by faith, believing God that everything will work for. Well. And I pray that the Lord will help us and the Lord will strengthen us. That even with our mad confession that we can do all things. That to tell us that there are challenges around. If you read the previous chapters and verses, and the one after this particular verse, you see Apostle Paul was 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 communicating with the Philippian brethren. Say that you know that how I I'm I'm in need of this, I'm in need of that. Some of you came to communicate to me in my need. But I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying all this because I need more from you. But I'm saying it, telling you that it is profitable for you to do this and be, be, be and above it all. Even though you decided not to provide for me, I can do all things towards to Christ who strengthened me. That's to tell us that no matter what happens around us, we must push, keep on pushing for faith. The aim why we are here at this time is to make sure that the program and for this season is a great success. No matter the challenges that come across our way, we must put the garment of faith on and keep pushing to the very end. And I know, and I know the Lord will help us and grant us good sources in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's close our eyes as we get to Lord in prayer. Let's ask the Lord that the world has come to us, He will strengthen our hearts. The little kill it, but the Spirit giveth life. Now the Lord will bread upon our hearts. Grant us the grace. 
and a sufficient faith at this time. The Lord will help us that our faith will not fail and our strength and confidence in Him will not fail. And above it all, He will grant us the grace to keep abiding with Him no matter what happens around us. Abiding with Him means that we are still standing in the faith. Abiding with Him means that we are still confessing that the, 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 Jesus is the, is, is the same as my Lord today and forever. Abiding in Him is that doing that which is pleasing to Him. Abiding in Him is that we are conscious with our communications, conscious with our attitude, conscious with our move and our actions around people. The, reproducing the, the, the uh, Christ like kind of life to people around us. Let's pray and ask the Lord and Lord, ask the Lord, 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 this morning we need your grace, we need your help. Grant me the grace that the sufficient faith I need to put through this season release upon me. Lord, grant me that faith I need. Put on us the garment of faith. Put on us the garment of faith that this time our strength will not fail us. That that which you have in store for us in this season, it will do. Open your mouth and ask the Lord that the Lord, the, the, the rest process that is left out that the Lord will strengthen us. The Lord will guide us and the Lord will lead us through. And all our days and all this time, glory will be to his name alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we want to appreciate you for a time like this. Thank you for your word that has come to us expressly this morning. One thing we desire of you, Lord, give us the grace to remain abiding with you. Because we know that abiding in you is, in you is what that grants us the sources we need. That's what that grants us the, the fruitfulness that we are expecting and people are expecting to see in our life. Grant us the grace to abide in you. Amen. And above it all, clothe us with a garment of faith. Amen. That no matter the storm, no matter the trials, no matter the challenges around us, we will stand to the very end. Amen. Help us, Lord, that your name alone be glorified. Amen. Now, as we step out now, we ask that your grace, your strength, be available for us. Amen. Thank you because we've answered. Amen. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Everybody say, Amen. Amen.